Latest Message from Archangel Michael, LMO5 2016 Embracing the Power of Love, Transmitted through Rana Herman Website, www.ranastar.com Beloved Masters, all of creation expands from the heart core center of the Supreme Creator outward. The closer you are drawn toward the core center of creation, the more God power and radiance you will possess. As you progress on the path of higher self-awareness as a shining being of light, you will embody more sacred love, and a joyful, serene demeanor, along with an intense desire to be of service to others, will prevail. You are composed of units of energy. You magnetize energy to you, and you radiate qualified energy from you in an infinity pattern. It is important for you to learn to recognize the difference between manifested energy patterns, the difference between the use of divine willpower and sacred love, empowered by pure creator light, and the use of force, employing primal life force substance, or the diminished spectrums of light in the manifestation process within the lower densities of expression. There is a vast difference between the various types of energy. Humanity is in the midst of a redistribution of repotencies, qualities and aspects. The ego desire personality uses knowledge and force in the third, lower fourth dimensional world of form, whereas the soul directed personality uses intuition inspiration, sacred love, fueled by adamantine particles of creator light, in the self-expression and manifestation process. The spirit, essence of our mother, father God, flow and work through the God seed atom of your individualized soul self. When you deny the whisperings of the soul, you are denying your God self. When you are truly overlighted by your God seed atom, you may journey amongst the many streams of negative consciousness and not be affected in any way. You are totally sheltered by the sacred love, light of our Father, Mother God. There are three points of sensitivity within the brain of a self master the pineal gland, pituitary gland, and the carotid artery gland, an etheric gland which becomes active as you begin to access the frequencies of the fifth dimension. The adamantine particles of divine light substance are transported throughout the bodily form via the bloodstream. It is through these master glands that the higher frequencies of divine light ignite the seed atoms within the physical vessel, thereby activating the process of enlightenment. Remember. You are spiritually responsible for the creator light that you integrate and radiate out into the world of form. The sacred mind is a storehouse for the history and complete journey of the many facets of the soul within the third, fourth dimensions. Your sacred mind is your direct connection to the multiple facets of your oversoul, higher selves, and eventually with the multiple sacred triads within the fifth dimension. Gradually, the pyramids of light, where your etheric replicas sacred triads are stored, will reintegrate each level of your beingness from the lower dimensions. Your immediate goal for this round of ascension is for all of your soul fragments to be reintegrated, within the first sublevel of the fifth dimension. You will then begin the process of rejoining with your multiple sacred triads throughout all the various dimensions within this galaxy, however, your ultimate destination is the sacred union with your I am God seed atom of this sub-universe. Once there, you will bask in the joy of reunion with all the precious facets of your God self, in full conscious awareness, awaiting the time of the next clarion call. You will then be prepared to, once more, journey forth out into the great void to fulfill a grand, new divine blueprint. A substantial portion of humanity is in a phase of transference from an outer focus on the material world, to an inner focus on spirit and self-awareness. You will hear the inner voice of intuition, and you will sense many new waves of vibration. 
aspiration will become recognition, and faith will merge with your new, higher truths. You will be standing at a pinnacle of attainment, gazing at the next lofty peak. However, you will be aware that you must traverse the valley of shadows before you may, once more, begin your upward journey. Those firmly on the path of ascension are in the midst of integrating the remaining aspects of their higher self, which consists of clearing all the lower frequency aspects, as well as accommodating the higher frequency expressions of self. This has been called the renunciation, in the esoteric teachings of the past, for it often entails letting go of those things which do not fit into your evolving vibrational patterns. Therefore, there will be a level of discomfort within, as well as a certain level of chaos in your outer world, as it readjusts to fit the emerging, refined you. You have a wealth of experience and wisdom to share with the multiple facets of yourself, and your successes have been duly recorded in the cosmic records for future reference. You are learning to erase from your memory and free yourselves from the confines of the collective consciousness belief system, and via your pyramids of light in the higher dimensions, you are also learning to soar into the more refined realms of awareness. Each time you do so, you gradually bring back with you into your physical vessel and your auric field a portion of the uplifting, harmonious frequencies of the higher realms which build a stronger, more radiant and expanded force field around you. Faith is an intrinsic facet of trust faith in yourself and your judgment, faith in those around you who have proven themselves trustworthy and honorable, faith in our Father, Mother God, the universal laws, and the divine blueprint for the future of humanity. We are not speaking of blind faith. For that is another way of giving your power away to someone else, their teachings or rules. In your material world, faith is built through actions and positive outcome, a function of the mind filtered through the heart. The heart is both a magnetic and radiating vortex, and it is the storehouse for the true source of human power. Your sacred mind holds the seed thoughts of your past and the future and it is your personal source of the divine will and power from our Heavenly Father, Mother God. Your seed thoughts for the future must be incubated within the Sacred Heart, and the adamantine particles of Creator Light ignited by your altruistic love. Thereby, through your pure intention and actions, they are manifested in the world of form. Abundance of all kinds is a natural manifestation. When you are in harmonious attunement with spirit and the divine plan for the greatest good of all. In the third, fourth dimensional reality, there is a conscious awareness of time. Time is related to space and distance. As you move into the sixth and seventh sublevels of the fourth dimension, time becomes more fluid and malleable. As you are aware, your sense of time passing has accelerated dramatically, over the last few years. That is because the Earth and a good percentage of humanity have moved into the higher frequencies of the fourth dimension, therefore, your conscious awareness of time has also accelerated. It is more important than ever that you learn to still the mind and focus on the still point of awareness, the now moment until it becomes a deep-seated habit. A null zone lull, a time of self-contemplation, is imposed by the soul self in preparation for every new level of higher awareness. It is a protective device to keep you from making too rapid or superficial progress. There is a rhythm to soul expansion a time of learning, growing and integration followed by a time of solitude and self-contemplation, and then a phase or a burst of growth, expansion and higher activity. The cycle repeats itself over and over again as you traverse the narrow, steep path of ascension into the higher realms of light. The brilliance of your physical vessel, is determined by the grade of energy you have integrated. 
the aura is composed of the frequency patterns emanating from the etheric vessel, the rate of your vibrations, or your energetic signature, and the purity and clarity of the colors you radiate. The head center is the custodian of divine purpose. You are a planetary light bearer. The beings of higher realms are celestial light bearers. There is a power in speech and a power in silence. Sacred sounds, are composed of higher frequency words spoken with power, spoken with positive, dynamic intention. You must develop the art of right interpretation of revealed higher truths, and then formulate your intention to manifest this new wisdom, as efficiently as possible. Call forth your sacred willpower to bring revelation into material manifestation. The Divine Will Blueprint of a Master, is stored within one of the Kundalini Seed Atoms within the Root Chakra. You will not be able to access this sacred gift until you have harmonized, balanced the frequency patterns of the fourth dimension by returning your fourth dimensional environment to the appropriate spectrum of light and shadow called duality. Essentially, duality is a system of expansion. It is the merging of spirit with matter into its highest form a soul-infused personality until it becomes one unit of perfected consciousness. In order to evolve, ascend into the higher frequency levels of consciousness, you must firmly stand and function centered within the path of light and shadow, as you traverse the realms of duality. You must access the seed atoms of hope, inspiration and intuition which are stored within your sacred mind and sacred heart. As you remove the fog of negativity from your etheric body, your mind and emotional body, these precious seed atoms gradually begin to pulsate and release the potent, cosmic knowledge, truths, attributes stored therein. You must endeavor to disengage yourself from the glamour of the material world, and from the dominant out-of-balance forces of matter. You are learning to gather your spiritual forces by holding steady within the light. A self-master learns to concentrate on creating a point of tension in tension, and through the use of creative imagination, he or she plants the new seeds of creation for a particular endeavor. Focus your mind on your higher mental consciousness, and then hold it there in a state of tension while bringing forth the activated adamantine particles of creator light from within the storehouse of your sacred heart. You will then be ready to breathe out the self-created pool of energy into your personal flower of life, creator wheel, and out into the world of cause through your conscious intention and sacred breath. My brave ones, diligently make it a habit to focus on what is right in your everyday life and your personal world, and always envision yourself as you desire to become. We have emphasized that you must practice non-judgment, and that includes judgment of self. Remember, you now have access to all of the creator particles of light, life that you can draw forth into your sacred heart. Always bear in mind that these adamantine particles of creation can only be activated by your pure loving intention. Many of you have begun, or are ready to embark on, your true mission, whatever that may be. Please remember that the ultimate goal is to become a conveyor of love, light. You must live your truth as you learn to traverse the higher path, so that you may fly your vision. You must claim and acknowledge every facet of your being, as you strive for harmony and unified consciousness. Dear ones, when you doubt, need inspiration or strength, come into your pyramid of light and we will give you courage, lift you up and inspire you. When you feel lonely or unloved, move into your sacred heart center, and we will be waiting there to fill you with the radiant love of our Mother, Father God. I am Archangel Michael. Transmitted through Rana, StarQuest, www.ranastar.com